Jim, before we talk about the upcoming record sale, tell us a little bit about WMPG. WMPG is the community radio station, and we're located at the University of Southern Maine. We've been here for over 40 years. We started in 1973. We have uh, community members who participate. We have USM students who participate. And we have over 200 volunteers that put programming on the radio station. We also have news and public affairs. In the morning, we've got a uh, news at 7 and at 8 a.m. interspersed with our music programming. Uh, and all the programmers uh, create their own programming. And you're on the USM campus, but are you an arm of USM or are you independent? We are part of the University of Maine system. The University of Maine system holds our license along with another, a number of other uh, radio stations in the University of Maine system. Talk about your program. You have a wide variety of things. You, you almost never know what you're going to hear when you turn on an MPG. Is that right? Uh, you don't. Mm -hmm. You're going to go from jazz to blues to rock to global music, reggae, mm -hmm. world music. Uh, you might hear something from uh, Russia, from Cambodia. Uh, some punk rock, some psychedelic music, and then you're going to hear something that you just absolutely love right into something you absolutely hate. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of it. It it's offers music for pretty much anyone at some point during the day. Is there an overall station playlist, or does each DJ make their own programming up? Uh, there is no playlist. We do not tell our DJs at all what to play. We do p give them the option of our library. We have over 100,000 CDs and LPs in our music library to choose from. So uh, we've got, we offer the music, the DJs program the music. Uh, the, each song is something new to whoever's listening. And talk about your news and public affairs uh, programming as well. Sure. Uh, we offer uh, news and public affairs. We have uh, for public affairs programs on at 7 p.m. Uh, weeknights, Monday through Friday. And those right now are various news programs that run for a half an hour. Those are nationally produced. Then at 7.30 to 8.30 in the evenings, we have a, 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 a large mix of uh, locally produced programming. That's Some of it that's been on for uh, a long time. We have a program such as Big Talk that's on. Uh, it's been on for almost 20 years, uh, bringing you public affairs study, uh, you know, looking at local issues and bringing in local guests. Uh, and then you also have, uh, at noon, we broadcast Democracy Now! Uh, from uh, Amy Goodman's program. And at 1 o'clock, we've got a number of programs that also are public affairs. And talk about your funding a little bit. Where does the money come from? Our funding is a, a mixture of listener donations, which is a large portion of our operations. Uh, we've also received a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Uh, they give us a small grant. Uh, we get funds from the student activity fees here at the university, so the students help fund us. And then businesses. We have got a lot of business support, underwriting. Uh, we've had a lot of long-term businesses that have been uh, supporting WMPG for many, many years. And one of the things you're doing to raise money is an upcoming sale of records and that sort of thing. You've got some stacks of wax over there, so let's look yeah. at some of the gems that you have available. That's right. We also do fundraising, fundraising events, and one coming up November 8th is the WMPG annual CD and record sale. And you'll be able to find music such as this that uh, has been donated to WMPG from, uh, from around the community. Here's a Bob Dylan uh, box set that you'll find there at the sale. You're going to find LPs by uh, artists such as Elvis Presley, but often we'll, uh, we'll find some real gems in there. And hundreds of people come to the sale. This, this happened to have all come in from one donor donating their record collection. Uh, they were a big Elvis, big Elvis Presley fan. Right? <laughs> yeah, this just happens to have been the one that came in just recently. Uh, then yesterday, a, a classical collection came in, hundreds of classical records uh, that we, we, we put into the, into the sale. Here's some rock. This is uh, Ian Dury, Ian Dury and the Blockheads, some Merle Haggard. Uh, and that's just a sample that was at the top of the stacks. We've got about 50 or 60,000 LPs and CDs that will be available. We also have a, a equipment that's been donated, turntables and amplifiers and speakers. It'll be priced really uh, very, very, very well. And we have uh, miscellaneous other oddities, magazines or other music-based items. It, it happens November 8th. It's a Saturday, 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock, right here on the Portland campus in the Sullivan Gym. 
So it's just like a big yard sale. You come on in and, and, it, and, and buy what you want. Oh yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a church bazaar. The, the doors open at ten, and it's a mad rush to get in, but it goes all day. And if people want more information about the sale or about WMPG in general, where can they go? They can go to our web page at WMPG.org. We've got a Facebook page. You can you can uh, like there. You can c call the station if you like. We've got a. We'll be glad to let you uh, give you any more information about volunteering, how to become a DJ. Uh, anyone can become a DJ at WMPG. We offer training every uh, six weeks here. So, if you're interested in doing a programming, we want to hear from you.